Marshall Business College. The course is Genetic Management 4. We will be covering Unit Standards 242810. This module covers the last pillar of management, controlling. As managers, we would have planned our work, we would have organized our work and deployed our resources strategically. We would be leading our human resources and keeping them motivated and focused on their goals. Now we're going to be monitoring and evaluating the results. Do we need to tweak the plan and the processes so that we keep on track and achieve our targeted results? No business can survive without financial resources because they're a scarce commodity. Therefore, we need to have a plan so that these resources are judiciously used. Some of the outcomes that need to be achieved is that we need to have a thorough understanding of concepts of budgeting and the different methods that can be applied. We need to understand what steps need to be followed if we are going to manage our expenditure against our budget. How does the company budget affect you in your role or in your department or business unit? The starting point is the forecast. Here we are making a prediction in an area that we have no control or limited control. We might make a forecast of the possible sales that we might anticipate we might achieve in the coming 12 months. And we might break this down into a forecast of the income and expenses we might occur in generating these sales. Based on these predictions, we might then formulate a sales budget and a marketing budget. They now form the plan against which the sales activities will be measured for the ensuing 12 months. Any variances to the plan can be monitored and corrective action taken. We will consider two techniques of budgeting, historical or incremental and zero-based. Historical budgeting looks at the past performance and may take into account any major trends in the economic landscape. The life cycle of the products, changes in costs of salaries or new sales staff and the impact of inflation on costs. Then the budgeted costs are increased accordingly. Zero-based budgeting is looking at what needs to be achieved in terms of sales and production and whether these can be achieved at a more reduced cost and more efficiently or whether the sales can be increased without incurring any further costs. Therefore, all the processes are scrutinized with little or no reference to the historical data. It's a basic tenet of business. Before you can make money, you have to figure out how to spend it. Drafting a budget is a key way to help you turn your dreams for business success into reality. Using this vital tool, you can track cash on hand, business expenses, and how much revenue you need to keep your business growing, or at least afloat. By committing these numbers to paper, your chances of succeeding with your business are helped by anticipating future needs, spending, profits, and cash flow. It also may let you spot problems before they mushroom so that you can switch gears. It's like a roadmap for your company, says Victor Butcher of Butcher Financial Services who advises small businesses. You need the roadmap to, to understand where you're going with your business. Conversely, if you don't have the discipline to sit down and assemble a business budget, you may not have insight into how your business is performing from year to year whether there are cuts you can make to improve performance and whether you have needed funds to purchase new equipment, be it computers, trucks, machinery or new factory. It's like being in a car without a map or GPS system. You hope you're going in the right direction, but you don't know. Budget constraints. These are things that squeeze your budget and they can come from within or outside. What constraints affect your budget? Some of these scenarios sound all too familiar in a South African context. We have strike season. Or due to the e-tolls, your suppliers are forced to increase their prices. 
because of the ripple effect by 20%. So those would be some of your external constraints and your internal constraints. Each month, your accountant would produce management reports. They are basically tracking how the business is performing based on the forecasts and budgets. They reflect the actual results and figures that have been budgeted. These statistics force us to focus on reality so that we can ascertain where are the issues that need to be addressed and these can pinpoint where a problem is looming so corrective action can be taken. Sometimes using graphical depiction of the statistics makes a problem more visible. Thank you.